Okay, I don't know how good this is going to work out, but I'm going to try to work on the uh, fur texture on the uh, head uh, today and uh, see what I can come up with. I'm going to use uh, a drywall or whatever spatula type thing this is to see if I can work on the uh, forward motion of the uh, hair. That's not the right tool. I have to figure out another tool. I got quite a few to choose from, so I'll just go ahead and do that and be right back. Time to play with some clay. I'm using a uh, metal tool, as you can see, with it's got serrated edges on one side and a smooth out side on this side, but that's not what I'm using it for. I'm using it so that it digs into the clay a little bit. And I got to be real careful because these deep recesses are going to make it very hard for the foundry to make a mold of it and uh, cast it. And it's not going to make it hard. It's just going to cost more money uh, to me because every time they have to work harder to do something, it costs the artist money. Those eyes have to come out just a little bit too. Um, if I've noticed on some of the pictures where you've got a front-on view of the buffalo, buffalo's head, those eyes almost look like they bulge out a little but that makes it so they can see straight ahead too this is going to probably be the hardest thing to do is this front part of this head now I'm going to use a dull tool to see if I can't soften up some of these uh, recesses. This shows you what I'm talking about as far as the eyes being away from the skull face a little bit. And I'm going to try to duplicate that. I think what I'll do is I'll cut the eyes out because I like the eyes, but I just need to bring them out more. I'll come back when I get that done. All right, I'm cutting out the eye. I tried it on the other side. And let's see if I can get this around here so you can see what I'm talking about. There I have it bulging out a little bit. It does look better. I just got to finish around the eye. But, uh, Tell you one thing without the uh, help of those videos by cross timber bison I wouldn't have seen that now I just put a lump of clay in there just to 
push the uh, eye out. Now, the reason I'm going through all the trouble cutting the eye out is I went through all the trouble sculpting it in the first place. And I don't want to lose all that, but I'm going to lose a little bit of it. And then I just got to line up the two eyes. Having the same distance away from the skull as I've got on the other side, too. It's going to be hard to see past my fingers because I can't get the camera set up properly. In fact, I might just put it on my headset. I think I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to heat up this knife. Because the one thing I've noticed... Is the eye is too close to his nos not muzzle, and I got to move his eye up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, all this makes sense because if you know what the buffalo skull looked like, the protrusion for the, uh, the eye sockets come away from the skull and are pushed out. And uh, I didn't take that into account. Okay, that looks better. Sorry about the head movement, but I don't know any other way of showing you what I'm doing. Keep it both eyes at the same distance up, up, and uh, There's a definite structure to the uh, muzzle of the buffalo. And I'm trying to get that. Without overdoing it.
bit of an overhang of fur right there. Here's a great picture of a buffalo's head that uh, it's almost like some of the kids looked like back in the 60s. if I should just do it instead of trying to do every texture why not just do it with little lumps of clay That looks more interesting, actually. I think I've been going about this the whole wrong way. I'm going to uh, not put so much detail in the hair. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Now, I'm just going to put lumps of clay to indicate the hair. And I'm not going to worry about getting every little hair. I'm just going to indicate the flow of the hair with lumps of clay. That would take care of the problem of all the little jabs and all the recessed hair. I still got to be careful. I don't want to put too much clay on this buffalo head, but I've got to do keep the same format for the hair going all the way around, which means I got to do little lumps of clay where the hair is not as flowing as the uh, hair on his forehead.
All right, I like, I like this. It shows the shagginess without trying to get into the, every detail of the, uh, the hair. And uh, I still got a little more work to do on this side, but I like, I like it a lot better than I did when I started out today. Uh, tomorrow I'll continue on on the rest of the uh, buffalo and uh, see if I can't bring this to a conclusion over the next couple of days. And then I got to think about something else to do. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.